Welcome back. We are here uh, looking at the foreign exchange market and we are going to uh, look at these uh, five currency pairs. Uh, Great British Pound, US Dollar, US Dollar and the Yen, um, the Euro and the US Dollar, Aussie Dollar and US Dollar and the US Dollar Canadian Dollar. And we'll start off by looking at uh, Great British Pound and the US Dollar. And uh, before we can we start, I have to mention that um, last week the US dollar uh, index increased significantly uh, for whatever reason. Uh, probably the main reason is that it has sold off significantly the last uh, few weeks and it, it's oversold. So we're just having a, a very short bounce in that market. Um, it is not expected for the US dollar to um, have a trend reversal at the moment as long as the Federal Reserve is just pumping um, uh, cheap liquidity into the market and just printing as many dollars as they basically can. Uh, that will have a negative effect on the US dollar um, and therefore uh, we should see a continuation of the depreciation of the US dollar. Um, but it made a really volatile week last week that the US dollar increased and so on. We can just see the last four trading days of the week, Friday, you know, Thursday, Wednesday and Tuesday, where we have, um, we can start out by Tuesday, where we have this massive green candle. After Friday, Wednesday, we have this massive uh, red candle, then Thursday green, and then Friday, we have a massive sell off in the market. Uh, but we still are at uh, our still our support uh, line is holding. So this uh, twenty exponential moving average is holding uh, just fine. And at this moment, well, if this were to break, we have the uh, forty exponential moving average and the fifty moving average right underneath. I don't, don't really expect us to uh, to uh, to uh, go lower from here. Um, if we if we were to, we would go down to the 40 uh, exponential moving average and then probably bounce. Certainly, if we go down to the uh, to the 50 moving average, we will bounce. So, uh, if you look at the technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is uh, is um, is a, the momentum is downwards, so we're probably going lower. Uh, the RSI is also pointing to uh, to uh, downwards, and we also see the stochastic moving downwards. Uh, there is not a lot of volatility in the market. Uh, you can see the Bollinger Bands are, uh, compared to this area here, there's not a lot of activity right now. Um, we'll probably go lower, uh, probably. But as long as the Fed is basically just printing dollars. Uh, the long-term uh, forecast for this pair is that 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 uh, this price should basically go up. We uh, at eventually will go um, and break this uh, resistant area here and go to this height of uh, uh, 1351 or something like that. Um, that probably won't happen straight away, but it will eventually happen. There, the U.S. economy is still doing really badly, and uh, what is keeping it afloat is basically the U.S. dollar, not U.S. the Federal Reserve. And um, in order to do that, they have to basically pump liquidity into the market and so on. And as long as that is the case, U.S. dollar will depreciate, and um, we will see this pair go higher. So. If we look at the US dollar and the yen, uh, we also have uh, not that much change last week uh, compared to the Great British Pound US dollar. Uh, we are seeing this uh, pair uh, appreciating, and we have a few areas of resistance, major area of resistance. We have this uh, 20 expansion moving average here. The 40 exponential moving average, the white one, the red one is the, uh, the 50 moving average, but the 100 moving average has recently been significant uh, resistant. So if we were to to um, to uh, increase the value here, 
this uh, area of uh, 6 point, uh, 6 point, uh, 106 um, is a good selling opportunity. If we look at the technical indicators, um, the RSI is quite flat. The same goes for the MACD. We are not we're just on the signal line. Uh, yeah, just have to wait. And the same goes for the for the Bollinger Band. We're technically in the middle here, and uh, the stochastic is pointing uh, is pointing to an upwards momentum that increase in price. So technical indicators are fairly mixed. Um, we are technically in the middle of of this uh, resistant area and this support area here. So. This is not a market that I would enter into right at this moment. We should rather see a significant significant decrease down to this area here, the 104, or an increase to the 106 before I will enter this market. So Euro, US dollar. So very similar to the to the Great British Pound, the Euro also um, had two good days and two bad days. At this moment, we did break through the uh, 20 exponential moving average and uh, the indicators are fairly negative, but similar to the Great British Pound, as long as the Fed is basically pumping uh, cheap dollars into the market, uh, I expect this market to go higher in the long run. We may go down to the uh, 20 exponential moving average. Uh, if we break that, the 50 moving average is right underneath. So that is a good buying opportunity at 11.58. So the technical indicators are fairly negative at this point. MACD is pointing in a uh, momentum is downwards. The same goes for RSI. It's not oversold at this point but uh, if we continue this way we will be oversold at least in the end of next week's trading session uh, stochastic is fairly negative and the bullion band is technically in the middle at the moment so we may see this market um, go down to the lower bullion band which is around uh, 11 uh, 72 um, which just is above uh, the uh, 20 exponential moving average um, before we see a bounce from there. I highly anticipate this market to go higher, uh, mainly due the, to the weak dollar. Technically, the Fed is doing everything they can in order to kill the dollar. So, so uh, yes, my bets are on that this market is going higher. Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have had this blue uh, 20 exponential moving average, which has been uh, acting as uh, support for this uh, currency pair. And uh, yes, until we break this and uh, the 40 and the 50 exponential move, uh, the moving averages, uh, I will continue buying the dips. Um, yeah, the, I only expect the US dollar to appreciate uh, fairly in the short term uh, bounce and then it will continue uh, to depreciate. So uh, that will come in handy for you, uh, this pair to the upside. At the moment, uh, indicators are, are similar to the, you, the, the Great British Pound and the Euro. They're fairly negative. Uh, we'll probably go uh, further down from here. Uh, the same for the MACD and the same goes for the RSI, it's fairly negative. The stochastic is also fairly negative and the um, Bollinger Band is quite straight in the middle. So we're the same as the Euro, we'll probably go down to the lower Bollinger Band and then we'll have a bounce from there. This is not a market that I'm uh, ready to short. Uh, I, I expect this trend to continue. Uh, we'll, Short-term pullbacks are technically buying opportunities, and that's what I'm going to do. U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar uh, is trading within this within this channel, and I absolutely love trading in channels. Uh, 
because they are fairly predictable. So we have done this for quite a long time now, all the way back to, uh, to the uh, end of June. We have been trading within this channel. And at this moment, we are smack in the middle. Uh, we, uh, if we go down, it is a buying opportunity. If we go up, it's a selling opportunity. And that's why I love trading channels. They are very, very predictable. And as long as um, this uh, resistant area and support area is not broken, well, it is just... It's like uh, playing ping pong. It's uh, just buy on the sell on the highs uh, and buy on the lows and so on. If you look at the uh, technical indicators, uh, the MACD is preparing to cross the signal line. So we're preparing to, to go higher from here. So you'll probably have one more day of sell off and then we'll go higher. Uh, the same goes for the RSI. It's pointing upwards. The, the stochastic is uh, indicating that we'll go higher. And the MACD now the Bollinger Band is basically near the bottom of the of the of the lower Bollinger Band. So we could have one more day of sell off, and and then we'll go higher from here. So hope you find this uh, video interesting. Uh, you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, clicking the bell button and the like button, and uh, good luck and uh, thank you very much.